Okay, thanks everybody for joining me on this review for the Batman trailer. I appreciate you checking it out. Um, where do I get started? I mean, I am looking forward to this so much. Uh, I am the type of guy that just trips out on trailers. As a matter of fact, uh, that's kind of what I would like to do for a living is make trailers. Um, uh, so I'm getting into editing very heavily. Uh, I um, just hope that uh, the whole uh, Pattinson getting sick and all that stuff, um, the recent news talking about how it's going to give like the, the filming trouble. But uh, if, if everything smooths over, then we'll get a freaking awesome Batman movie. I believe the, the release date was 2021. So uh, first off, let's talk about Gordon. Um, I'm not sure uh, who the, that actor's name is. Uh, I've seen him play on other things. Um, the Hunger Games, for one. I enjoyed him in that. Uh, Pattinson. Um, I haven't personally seen The Twilight, but I know a lot of people gave him crap over that. Um, I mean, he's an actor. Uh, I think he was probably a lot younger then, I would imagine. Um, it's just uh, something he chose to do to uh, advance his career. And, you know, I, I know he's been playing in a lot better roles, a lot more dramatic roles, and not like a teeny bopper uh, um, teen young adult novel uh, stuff, but I mean, he's in, he's in Tenet, he's in that, uh, uh, I think it's called The Lighthouse, um, I haven't seen that yet, I haven't seen Tenet yet either, because I'm in New Mexico and the freaking movie theaters are closed down, but I'm uh, really looking forward to that, Christopher Nolan is the shit, but um, uh, I mean, let's talk about Zoe Kravitz as uh, Catwoman. She looks, you don't get to see her face, but you can know in that little slit in the mask that it's Zoe Kravitz, and I love her. Um, I like her work in the, the Divergent movies. Um, she, I know she's been in a lot of other stuff as well, uh, a lot of independent films. She's got a great career. If you look at her IMDb, she's been in a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, uh, but the, the, what I really wanted to talk about is that fight scene and the way she moved. Like, they have her moving very cat cat-like and, you know, kind of hunched over, almost like Black Panther, um, and I really like that, it looks really good. Uh, the choreography, I'm sure, will be great in this movie, um, it's probably going to be up there with the uh, Batman um, versus Superman fight scene, where Batman just annihilates the people in that warehouse, um, but uh, the, then we got, what, Andy Serkis as freaking um, um, Alfred? And, uh, he's, you know, he's going to be like the father figure, uh, keeping him on straight and arrow, giving him that advice. And, I mean, who could you... I, that's actually, I mean, he'll be perfect for the role because of the way he looks and his voice. But have we ever seen Andy Serkis in a role like that? Uh, but um, uh, who else do we got here? Uh, Paul Dano friggin', uh, is going to be the Riddler. Not that many people might know who he is, but... Uh, He's been in a lot of good movies, um, including, I believe it's called Swiss Army Man. Uh, check that out. It's a uh, very, very interesting, uh, uh, imagine, imaginative, uh, uh, independent film that he's in. Uh, he's also in uh, There Will Be Blood, and that is just a great movie. Um, uh, we've got, who else do we got here? Uh, Colin Farrell is uh, playing uh, Penguin. Uh, very unnoticeable. Yeah, I told my fiance uh, who that was when we were watching the trailer the first time, and she just didn't believe me. She had to look it up herself. But uh, that is for sure him. Um, that's you know that's pretty much all I got to say. Obviously, it's not showing too much. Uh, the 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 vibe is very cool. Um, I I really love the whole like it seems more like a detective type uh, story. Uh, just as long as there's uh, good action, I think those will play very well together. And just from what I've seen, the the acting looks great. And uh, you know, there's a few scenes that stood out to me. One of them being, uh, uh, well, of course, when Bats is fighting Catwoman. Um, uh, when Batman, it's a very sh quick, short scene, but Batman's in like a cell with uh, looks like Gordon and a bunch of cops, and he's like, "Can <laughs> I get in a fight with them?" And Gordon has to like pull him back. He's about to whoop some ass. 
Um, uh, there's the scene where Bats get shot by something. Uh, it looks almost like an explosive, or maybe it's just like a shotgun that's so close range that it just makes a huge flash, but I guess we'll have to wait for the movie. And uh, probably one of the, obviously when he kicks the crap out of that guy and just punches him over and over again. Like none of us were ready to see that type of Batman. And I think that's why everybody is freaking out and loving it. Because we like vicious, dark, young Batman that just likes to crush people. Um, the Batmobile looks pretty sick. Uh, I like it. This is like a friggin' muscle car with just like boosters off the back. Completely black. Probably has friggin' uh bulletproof windows and all that jazz uh and then there was the one scene that just finished it off nicely for me uh was uh when he's like coming up from the ground it looks like he's rising up from hell basically to just beat the crap out of that group of that gang and uh uh but yeah guys um that that's pretty much all my thoughts on the uh the the trailer that we saw uh, please uh, comment on uh, anything that you might want to add or any questions you have for me. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and my other channels below. I would appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.